Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I thought since I'm 30 now, today I'm 30, oh my god, I'm so old. I thought since I haven't done makeup in not one, two, but three months that I'm going to put some makeup on because it's my birthday and I need to look good and feel good. So today I'm going to be trying some new look. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I have no idea. I have no plan, but we're going to turn this mug into something a little bit better. I'm going to start off by the, using the Refresh Hydrating Beauty Mist by Clarins. I really like this line. I think it's like for teenagers or something. I'm just going to give my face a little mist. My skin has really cleared up, <laughs> as you guys can tell. Um, TMI, I got an IUD in and I think that's part of it and maybe just also not wearing makeup is part of it. I'm also going to try out, I have no idea like what this is. I haven't really done any research on this product, but oh, where's the English? It's an instant hydrating and perfecting balm. It's supposed to even the skin texture and it's supposed to give you radiance and comfort. So it's the Hydro Flash Beauty, Hydro Beauty Flash Perfecting Balm by Chanel. That was a mouthful. And I'm just gonna take a little dollop. I've never used this before. I literally just opened it and it smells. Oh, I love the way Chanel products smell. It just makes me feel so rich. Oh my God. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, my skin was so bad there for a couple years. I think just like the amount of product I was putting on and I don't know, I don't know. Just like my environment, okay? And now my skin is so smooth and so clear. I might do an updated skincare routine because I'm actually so, like, a couple, like, months ago or, like, even a year ago or a couple years ago, like, my skin was not like this. And it's so crazy because I feel like my skin was always so beautiful. And then when it wasn't, it just wasn't. You know what I'm saying? I also did my brows for the first time, I think, like, a month ago. I think let them go for two months. I know it's, they, they were, like, very bushy. Um, I'm just going to jump right into my favorite brow product. I'm going to be using the Brow Lux in the shade Carbon or Coal. I'm going to be looking at all the names of everything because I haven't done makeup in literally three months. I, last time I put makeup on, a full glam was March 6th. And then... I put a little bit of makeup on on March 14th, but I haven't since then. So this is just like wild. Okay, I'm gonna use my favorite brow product on my brows. I'm gonna skip ahead this part, but I'm going to just clean up my brows a little bit, just to add some, a little bit of shape. And I'm using the Can't Stop, Won't Stop by NYX, and this is in the shade, excuse me, <laughs> Where's the shade? O2 Alabaster. I've actually decided now that I've done my brows and I can actually, you guys, I haven't put makeup on since my skin has been so clear. And I'm like, oh my God. I think I'm gonna do like a nice, like natural, as natural as I can get, kind of like a dewy look. Cause I feel very sprightly today. I feel like I'm in a good mood and also, my Botox is worn out. Did anyone else notice that? <laughs> I'm gonna pop on a little bit of Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme just to get my lips going here. I need a little, I need a little, a little, oh, my mirror. For my eyeballs, I just put concealer on and I'm going to tap it off with a little bit of the Cap On D, or sorry, it's not Cap On D anymore. It's some, I don't know, vegan thing. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what the new name is. I don't get it. I don't understand. I feel like she made an error with that, but whatever. Um, just some of this powder, just to kind of mattify it, just so my shadows don't skip. And I think I'm going to do a nice kind of lifted eye moment, since that's pretty trendy right now. I do have two Urban Decay palettes here, and I'm thinking I'm just going to go for the Naked Reloaded. And I'm going to be taking the shade Bucked, and I'm going to grab nice big old fluffy brush what do i want this is a uh, this is a morphe m513 is this dirty i don't know there we go all right i'm just going to take some of that butt and i'm just going to kind of aim it at the outside of my eye here i'm going to cut this with concealer so it like lifts my eye up i think like bella hadid <laughs> Ooh. 
and my lips are already so red from that. I'm going to leave my lid matte. I don't think I'm going to even put anything there. Here I have a Makeup Forever Aqua XL. What is this shade? It is number S50. It's like a nice, like, I don't even know how to describe it. Cool tone brown, I suppose. I'm just going to line my eye and kind of lift it over here. And I'm going to smudge it out with a brush. My eyes are so... I'm 30 and my eyes pull, so I'm gonna have to get right in here. I actually switched eyeliners. That other one by Makeup Forever, I think it's old and I can't deal with it. So I'm actually using Twice Baked from Urban Decay, which is one of my absolute favorite eyeliners. It has like a little bit I like a sparkle to it but nothing crazy and boy is here come here boy everyone has missed you he's the same he's still cutie he's still a little rambunctious little man eh? oh no lip I have lip bumper you can't touch me no he's not good for kitty no okay goodbye yeah <sighs> whenever I do eyeliner I always try and follow my bottom waterline up so like over here I kind of skipped ahead on this eye and did it but I always follow this line to extend my eyeliner I don't really ever bring it down I feel like I used to but now I don't need to make my eyes look bigger like for what so I just go from that bottom bottom line and that's my little trick and whenever I teach people how to do makeup that's that's what I tell them now on top of this eyeliner, I just am taking another Morphe brush and kind of buffing it out. I'm going to take the shade Endgame, which this is all messed up because I had this palette in my kit for the longest time and I would always use this brown as a liner so I would always put setting spray in it. Anywho, uh, that's why it's funny, but I'm just going to buff that out with this. I'm not paying too much attention to what's happening here because I'm just going to clean that up anyway, but I want a nice elongated eyeball. And then I'm going to go back into Bucked and kind of add a little bit more of that just on top and kind of swoosh it all together. I kind of do want glitter on this. <laughs> I love glitter. Should I do glitter? Should I just put a little bit on? feel like I should. So I'm going to take my concealer now and uh, I'm going to go right from my bottom waterline and I just like to pull up. And it creates that nice like whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Also I love this sponge. I think I have a Sigma code. I think it's Bailey still. Bailey, maybe Bailey 20. I actually love this sponge. I have a little Techniques one and it's seen its day. I feel like it hasn't lasted very long. This one I've been like using. I guess it's coming apart too. But I really like the edges of this so I can like get in here and I can sharpen this with this line. I really like this one. Try my, try my code. I think Okay, I decided I'm out of glitter. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Roll-On Shimmer by NYX. Just, just like a tiny bit. I just like want a little, okay. <laughs> That's a lot. I just wanted like a little sparkle. I forgot how much comes out of here at once. Right, like I'm 30, I deserve a little sparkle. It goes with my hair, right? Just like very messy on the lid, kind of like a, a 2000s vibe you know I'm gonna put on mascara now so I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty this is the full frontal because I'm black that's the color of it that's so funny because I'm black um speaking of I hope everyone is doing their part and educating themselves and whatnot 
we had a rally here in Winnipeg. We were in the thick of it. I live a block away from the ledge, so gosh, this feels like so weird to actually put makeup on. Like I feel like, not that I forgot how, cause it's like muscle memory, but I mean, damn. I'm only gonna put mascara on my top lashes for now, just for the sake of concealer and all that, because I'm gonna be finishing my eyes, kind of, before I move on to complexion. And yeah, okay, so the lashes I'm gonna be using, I ordered a bunch off of AliExpress. They're actually these ones, these and these were just like random lashes that I just put in this case but um, it's these big ones here and they are so beautiful and voluptuous and gorgeous. I think this pack was like $2, like I went on like a spree in like, I don't know, a while ago and I bought a whole bunch of lashes off of AliExpress. If you can find good ones, they're good and they're, they're cheap. Keep in mind, yes, it takes a month to get to you depending on the shipping you choose, but just like factor that in and be like, okay, well, I'm not gonna receive them for a month. I don't think the shipping's that big of a deal. So, oh, they're just so beautiful. Ugh. I also accidentally bent my tweezer man tweezers so they're not the same. And I'm so upset about it. I was trying to open my pepper grinder. <laughs> it's so depressing. But anyway, speaking of what's happening in the world right now, I hope, I hope everyone is educating themselves and trying to do better. That's what I hope because no one deserves to be discriminated against like ever. It's just absolutely and it's it's crazy to me that, that it happens in 2020. Like it's crazy. Okay, here we go. Haven't put lashes on in three months. Should I get a little mirror? Maybe. Ooh, there's a mirror in it. Okay. The, can to the, it's still covered though. Ah, I need a mirror. Okay. Say a prayer. For me, please. Oh my god. Mm. Ah, it's like riding a bike. Oh okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. And just like that, I feel 20 again. <laughs> you know what's crazy to think about? It's like the different stages you have in your lives. Like I have had so many different stages in my life. Like I consider like, you know, graduating from high school and then going to university. Like the friends I made there, the first couple of years I was there. I don't, I talked to one of them still. No, two of them, two of them still. And just like some people just come and go out of your life for whatever reason, you know, it's like very interesting. And then like, I met all my like, LGBT, blah, 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 plus friends, not to, you know, but it's just like crazy, like, who comes and goes in your life in 10 years, you know, it's like wild. These lashes are so pretty. Literally AliExpress, I think this was like $2 for this pack. It's just absolutely crazy to me. Okay, so let's move on to complexion now. What am I gonna use? I don't even know. So if I remember like kind of correctly, I really like this foundation. I'm like blanking, but I'm pretty sure I do. It's the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk with Coconut. It has coconut milk and aloe extract in it, and I'm using in the shade 520 Fair. This is vegan. CoverGirl is all cruelty free, by the way. So we're gonna be using this because I want to. But should I put on another primer? I put on the Chanel thing. You know what, I think we're good. I think we're fine. Oh my God, I haven't put foundation on in so long. I'm like kind of nervous. Why am I nervous? Why am I freaking out? It's literally foundation. It's not a big deal. And I'm gonna be just doing a little light wash of this. I probably took way too much product, so I'm just gonna pop it on there. I guess I kind of forgot that I put it on the back of my hand. You guys, it's it's all it's all new here, okay. <laughs> this color's perfect for me though. I do like this color. I got a little bit of sun. I was out at the lake, which I don't go there very often because that is where my dad passed away. Uh, almost two years ago it's coming up now. And I don't go out there very often because it makes me very sad. But I went out there two weekends and uh, it was actually really nice to spend time with family there. But um, <laughs> girl got some sun. 
She got some color. <laughs> And then I'm just gonna throw some concealer just right underneath my eyes, maybe on this little dot here. And other than that, my skin's looking pretty good. So I don't have to put concealer anywhere else, which I'm so happy about. You guys, the fact that my skin is clear is like an actual miracle to me. Like my skin was so bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a skincare video talking about my like, I don't know what I would call it, like adult acne. Like I don't even know what caused it exactly but I had my IUD now for when did I get it in February 11th so I've had it for four months and uh, this is my skin now I <laughs> like is that why I'm, I'm really not sure I haven't been eating any differently like really um, the only thing is staying indoors and not being outside so I'm assuming it's like environmental and all that kind of honky and right on top of this I'm going to set my face just again with the Kat Von D powder that I have here this is the beauty blender powder puff it's so dirty I haven't cleaned it that's so gross <laughs> I'm really not thinking about that that's so disgusting that I'm using this but you know it is what it is it's just been sitting in my drawer it's fine right it's fine it's just powder Ooh. I love this thing though because you can stick your fingers in like multiple places and use different sides of it I really like this thing. I wish I had more. Oh, beauty blender. <laughs> Hook a girl up. Oh my gosh, my Clarisonic broke also. I, uh, this is so depressing. I'm really updating you guys on all of my life things, hey? So, one, one day, I, it, it's always been in my shower. It always stays in my shower. That's where I use my Clarisonic because I, I don't like washing my face not in the bath or the shower. I would rather have a full shower or a bath than try and wash my face in the sink. It's just, it's not happening for me and I absolutely refuse to do that. Like getting water everywhere is just not, it's just not in my plan. I don't subscribe to that. So I always keep it in my shower and you have to charge it every once in a while. So I plugged it in, charged it because it was dead. And then all of a sudden I put it back into my shower this is a long-winded story when it doesn't need to be and it just stopped working like it would randomly turn on I would turn it on I can't change the modes I can't turn it off like I literally couldn't turn it off it was like the most bizarre thing ever I'm gonna be using the kiss contour kit just because it's right here my favorite tweezer man brush I am just gonna be using oh this is a very warm color I lied I'm not gonna be using this okay I have my makeup forever one here which is a much cooler tone not that this kiss contour is bad but for right now I want to use the makeup for one yeah my Clarisonic it literally just like stopped working and then it would randomly turn on and I mean like literally randomly like it would be the middle of the night and I hear this like vibrating coming from my bathroom and it scared me like it terrified me it was so scary like <sighs> Especially the first few times when I didn't really know what it was or I guess the first time when I did know it was terrifying anyway so it was the Mia smart profile that I had and I love that it's like the most expensive one but I got it from Clarisonic when I did a Twitter takeover from them and uh, so I don't have a receipt so I can't like deal with warranty or anything like that which like kind of really sucks um, but anyway I contacted them and they haven't got back to me yet so we'll see <laughs> I'm just creating some like shape within my face kind of like lifting up my brow over here so I'm kind of dragging the contour along this line this uh, brow bone line up here just to elongate my face this light here also isn't great um, just to elongate my face yeah so during quarantine my iPad broke my Clarisonic broke <laughs> I'm also going to be using this Burt's Bees blush and it is called um, Shy Pink. I really like this shade of blush. It's so beautiful and so like feminine and pretty but still like kind of peachy too. Not that peachy isn't feminine and pretty but you know. Um, and yeah other than that what have I been doing during quarantine here? Um, 
We got the balcony all set up. I got a nice little cat box for the cats so they have grass out there. Um, I got a new bed frame. That was my birthday gift to myself. Um, I've been watching, what have I been watching? I've been watching 90 Day Fiance. I have been watching Real Housewives, Beverly Hills, New York, Atlanta. I finished, um, watched Tiger King twice, watched the Jeff Epstein thing. I'm gonna be taking the highlighter, what is this called, Cookie? Yeah, from Benefit now. I'm gonna be using this as my highlight and I'm gonna highlight the crap out of my face. This is so beautiful, by the way. It's like perfect for us, uh, fair skin gals. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Look at my seeing this right. It's so pretty. I should have put this on my lid. Um, I revisited, I watched the Madeline McCann thing. I was watching the John Benet Ramsey thing again. I really like true crime, so I'll always like go back to that and watch that. And other than that, oh, I watched Will and Grace. I watched Friends. I watched the entirety of Sex and the City. Um, Friends, Sex and the City, Will and Grace. What else did I watch? It's like hard to remember. <laughs> Oh, I watched Desperate Housewives also. I've watched a lot of things from start to finish. It's like wild. I've just sharpened this, uh, what is this called again? Twice Baked by Urban Decay. I just want to put a little bit in my inner tear duct just to give me a nice like cat eye shape, you know? You know how I love to do this? So I'm just going to drag this in. I'm not gonna lie to you, I haven't really been doing a lot during quarantine. It's just literally like I've been watching TV and spending time with Brandon and that's about it. I haven't seen my boyfriend in three months yesterday because uh, of the border closure and yeah. I'm also gonna pop on some of this Maybelline Brow Fast Sculpt. I really like this, you know I hate brow gel. I talked about this in another video. I should always do a whole video on this because I hate brow gel, the way it like clumps up on my brows. It's just not for me. Like, I'm, it's just not for me. But I like this one because it has, if you can see, see that? It has like a brush on one end on this side. So it's not like a full circle. So you don't, like you can comb through it without it clumping up in your brows. I'm like, I love that. Like, it's so smart. Maybelline, you got my vote. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna throw a little bit of lip liner. I might just leave this. Well, I've kind of wiped it off now. Um, Sand Beige by NYX in the Retractable. I love this color so much. The reason I love this color is because, okay, for example, hold on. So I have this Rodial lip liner. It is in the shade, where is the shade? It is in the shade Nude. And it's nude, right? But I feel like on me, when I put this on, I'll just do a little bit right here. Well, you can't really tell. But I feel like it goes orange on me, and I don't like that. And this one stays like brownish on me. It's just like a smidge darker and more of like a pink hue doesn't have so much yellow in it and I feel like it doesn't make me look orange like I feel like some nude products make me look orange and I hate that so I'll pop this on and then I think I might put lip lumber on I might use this one to fill in my lips like it's a beautiful shade but I just feel like it makes me look orange, which is wild. I'm gonna take another NYX product and put it in my waterline. This is just one of the faux whites. There we go. Wow, first time putting makeup on in three months and now I'm 30, so this is my new 30 look. Do I look 30? I don't know. Do I feel 30? I don't know. Is this where I am where I thought I'd be when I'm 30? Wait, what? That's not a sentence. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like when you're younger, you have like these expectations, like I'm gonna marry by 24, but like once you're like in it and living, it's like, who made up those rules? Maybe the generation before us? I don't know. My mom didn't get married until she was 30 and then she had my sister when she was 36, so. Yeah, I got time. 
feel like I got time. I'm also not pushing out a child. Oh my god, why do why are we talking about I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's my life over. I'm not sure. I do feel really pretty though. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Um, if you haven't seen, I uploaded, I think like eight or nine travel videos. Please go watch them. I had so much footage and I thought I would just edit them. So that's what I've also done during this quarantine is I sifted through that footage. I went to Mexico, Palm Springs, Vegas. Stop in LA for like a minute. So yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll uh, see you when I'm, when I'm 30. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys and I'll see you. Bye guys.